If you've ever dreamt of making your own animated film like these ones, then look no further, as I'll break down pretty much everything you need to know in order to make your very own 3D animated film from scratch and with no budget. Perfect if you're a beginner and broke, I guess. To make animated movies, you need software. You need animation software, video editing software, painting software, and so on. The best all-in-one software you can use right now for making animated movies is Blender. It can do modeling, shading, lighting, animation, rendering, and video editing all within the one software. In fact, I don't really know any other free software right now that has all these features. The new Blender 2.8 that came out recently has even included support for 2D drawing and animation and even real-time rendering. It works with most operating systems, whether you're on Windows or Apple, and best of all, it's open source and free, meaning you can make stuff with it even for commercial use. Even though Blender is amazing and all, uh, I promise I'm not really affiliated with Blender nor am I trying to sell you anything. There are other free software out there that I'd recommend. GIMP is a free painting software which is very similar to Photoshop and can help with texturing your models. Although Blender does a really good job with video editing, another cool video editing software that you can use is DaVinci Resolve, a powerful video editing software that I personally use, especially to make these tutorials. Of course, you can use paid software like Adobe Premiere and Photoshop and After Effects, but you're broke, remember? Once you have all the software installed, next thing is to get familiar with the basics of the software. You'll need to spend time scouring the internet for tutorials and courses until you get relatively confident navigating the software. For Blender 2.8, I recommend you to check out all the videos on my channel. They're short and can help you get the gist of Blender 2.8 quickly. On top of learning the basics of each software, you'll need to spend time learning some theory stuff like the animation basics, you'll need to know the principles of good animation, you'll need to know lighting, for characters you need to know how to design characters and then how to model them effectively with good topology so that it can animate well. If all of this is so overwhelming, you can get away with some of it. For example, you could use a free 3D character generator like MakeHuman to skip the modeling and rigging of characters in Blender. Story is important. In fact, it's really, really important. If you don't have a good story, then there really is no point going on making your animated short. Keep in mind, you're going to be spending months, perhaps even years, making this film. Deep down, if you feel like even you wouldn't want to watch this film, then why would you expect anyone else to? And why would you spend all that blood, sweat and tears on this project? It's much better to just have an awesome story so that when your film releases, you have a really good chance of it going viral. A tip if you're just starting out, don't make an overly complicated long story. Just stick with one or two characters with one or two environments max. It's extremely difficult to pull off an epic novel as a beginner and you will more than likely end up abandoning your project. So always keep your story simple when starting out. A lot of animated short film projects fail due to poor planning and management. The three stages of film production can help you keep on track. The three stages are pre-production, production and post-production. I have an entire video covering this topic, so go ahead and check it out on my channel. Basically, these are the stages most animated short filmmakers and even movie studios follow to pull off their animated films. So just to give a brief outline what you need to do here. You write your story, turn that story into a script and screenplay, turn that screenplay into a storyboard, turn that storyboard into an animatic, model your characters and environments, set up materials, shading and lighting for your characters and environments, animate according to your storyboards and animatics, render and wait, then keep on waiting some more, add compositing effects, add animations into a video editor, mix in audio, dialogue and sound effects, and turn it into a final movie. Whew. It's no surprise that film projects can end up taking years to pull off. And while it's awesome to tell the world you made a film all on your own, two or more minds are really better than one. Always get feedback from other artists, friends and family, whether it be for your story, your modeling, your animations, 
getting another person's feedback can be valuable as they can point out issues and even provide suggestions for improvement from a fresh, neutral perspective that you may have overlooked. Rendering can take a super long time. For Pixar's Monsters University, one frame took on average 29 hours to render. So just to put that into perspective, there are about 24 frames per second in a movie typically, or 1440 frames per minute, or in this case, 129,600 frames for a 90 minute movie. In other words, Pixar would have had to wait 3,758,400 hours to complete the rendering of the entire film. Luckily, they have access to render farms, which are basically just a huge number of powerful computers rendering frames in parallel. Your film may not take 29 hours per frame, and if you're making an animated short, you will typically have much less total frames to render. Even then, the times can add up. My latest film, Uir, would have taken me 5 years to render if I let my computer render all day 24-7. I used the free Burp render farm, which is uh, Burp stands for the Big Ugly Rendering Project, and this is pretty much a, a render farm where generous people all over the world lend their computing power to help render my film. Super thanks guys, you're awesome. So that's pretty much how you make an animated film from scratch. That's it for now. Go ahead and start making your own animated movies. And who knows, you may even go from being broke to rich real quick. I'll be putting out more videos like this on my channel to help you make your own animated short films. So please like, share and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.